I may be having an existential life crisis. Hi, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, today we're gonna talk about these three books. The Atlas Trilogy, as I'm calling it. So we have the Atlas Six, book number one, book number two, the Atlas Paradox, and book number three that recently came out, um, the Atlas Complex. Why is this dust jacket not wanting to sit properly on the book? It's like it's the wrong dust jacket for the wrong book. Um, <laughs> anyway, I want to try to do this without spoiling things uh, which is going to be very hard because I tend to just say whatever pops into my head and that can sometimes be a bit of a spoiler and also because um, it's now a full trilogy I've finished all of them I want to talk about all of them in one shape or form so the Atlas 6 the one that got her a publishing deal <laughs> Basically, she wrote this book, self-published it because she didn't think anyone was going to want to read it. And then TikTok happened. It went into a massive, hyped, overblown, I, I really don't know. Um, I haven't heard much about the rest of the series though, but this book comes up every now and again. So, the thing I keep hearing about this book is either makes me feel more intellectual than I actually am, or this book feels too intellectual for me and I cannot read it. Out of the two, I want to say I fall into the first category rather than the second. I did finish all three books, I mean... It can't have been that bad. Atlas 6, we start off straight off meeting these six candidates who are, you know, the chosen ones, as it were, in this, in this thing. These are the six characters that we follow throughout um, with the occasional interlude from different characters, not the main characters, but different characters that are connected to our main characters. <laughs> what is this? What is this explanation? I don't know. What did they actually do? Who knows? So they are inducted into the Alexandrian society, which is apparently a not so secret society, which hoards knowledge <laughs> for some reason. Hi. Hello. Oh, baby. Your buddies are coming tomorrow. Yeah, they are. Hi. You want you want to be baby? You want to you want to film? No. Okay. The basic gist of what they are promised for going into the society, as it were, is basically more knowledge, more power, more everything. But at what cost? That's what they don't tell you. The cost is something they find out well into their, I want to say tenure, but that's the wrong word. Well into their year, they find out what the price is. And honestly, it's something they find out throughout the whole trilogy that it's not just the one price. Everything comes with a cost. Everything, literally everything comes with a cost. And you can't expect everything from nothing. So, the thing is with this trilogy, when you're reading it, you're like, where are we going with this? What are, What is the mission of these characters in this society? It's like they're going to school, but they're not going to school. Uh, they're researching and trying out things and, well, their magic power, as it were. And you're like, w how is this even going to end? <laughs> to like speed through the whole thing. I think the way this trilogy ends, it couldn't really have ended in any other way. I guess the only way to really summarize what the whole trilogy is about is to ask the question, what is the meaning of life? And here's the thing with that question, the answer to it is different for everyone. And that's kind of what we see with the characters. We see them 
figuring things out, figuring life out, th figuring themselves out. Some maybe not until like it's maybe too late, but it's there. It's what we we as the reader are seeing through this character's eyes, as it were. I think I could go on a whole rant and tangent about absolutely everything and anything that contains that is contained in this whole series but I, I don't want to do that because I would just you know say the whole series and that would be massive spoiler and that's what I'm trying to avoid and I'm, because of that I'm finding it so hard to explain this series but basically thought-provoking dark academia really liked it I did really like it I'm not sure if it's like five stars throughout or if it's like a mix I'm not quite sure because I don't really do the star ratings anyway but I will say this it's definitely a series I could see myself rereading and that is saying a lot uh, I do not know what this video is um, what I've said or what I've not said because I was interrupted about 500 times and uh, yeah we'll, we'll see what ends up I guess um so question for you have you read just the first book the whole series do you wanna let me know um yeah thank you so much for watching I shall see you all next time until then take care bye bye